A lot has been said about how you start the downswing and I want you to see what happens when you do it correctly and when you do it incorrectly. So an on-plane swing when you get to the top, the club is going to come down straighter down. It is going to go out toward the ball slightly but it's going to come down and as that club comes down from there you can see that the club head gets on plane or even under the plane. So here's a club on plane coming into the ball because we got the first part of this downswing correct. On the right what I'm going to do from here is now I'm going to turn my chest early which is a mistake and that will get the club to go out too much and get the shaft too steep. So now from here if we watch this go out there's the club out and look at the difference of the shaft. So here's a shaft that is too steep 73 degrees versus a shaft that's 47. And granted I'm not as far down here but I'll I'll bring my left arm and hands down a little further here on the right to compare this. Watch what happens though when we get too steep. The club starts shallowing to get on plane because the club's got to get on plane to hit the golf ball. So here the club comes down and these are forces and torques working on this. Not only is it flattening but the face is wide open. And if I don't fight these forces and torques Look at the face, it's wide open, going through, and the face is wide open, going through. That's what happens. That's why people slice. Now, I didn't turn my body through or, or swing left, but a lot of slicers swing left with that action with the face wide open. Now, barely hanging on to the club like I just did on the right, as the club comes down from on plane or a little under the plane, notice the forces and the way the club works that the, arms in, the club rotates. And if I'm barely hanging on, what are my arms and hands going to do? They're going to rotate. So you have to shift and drop the club in the slot first from the downswing before you turn. If you turn early from the top, your club gets too steep. And then as the club shallows to the plane, the face is wide open. And as I jokingly say, you can't square it with five right hands. So to get this downswing, you've got to keep the chest and the back facing the target as his club drops in and then you're going to be able to square the club much easier if you can get this first move from the top correct. For more information visit LarryRanker.com. Here's the club coming in on plane and look how the arms and hands rotate as they go through.